I know I haven't posted a, another video in a while, but the house is sold. We close next month on it. And uh, from there, we're just gonna be taking it a day at a time as we look for a piece of land, a place where we can homestead and call home. So uh, I'll try to post more regular on here. It's really tough to get used to vlogging and sharing my life. I mean, that and how fun can watching a house be painting or boxes being packed be. <laughs> um, but we will be heading out to find land sometime over the next couple months provided they don't do any more lo lockdowns because of covid um, but yeah we're excited for this new adventure and we also are expecting baby number three that will be coming in the spring of 2021 so uh, something else that's really exciting uh, taking place for us in our lives and it was really awesome the house went on the market on wednesday they didn't accept any offers or do any showings until the open house on saturday we got eight offers and we picked based on letters that were written to us from different families that were interested in our house. And so uh, it's just kind of neat and I uh, think that this will be a, a really good home for the family that we chose. Um, rather than getting into a bidding war or anything like that, uh, we just, we read the letters and just uh, followed what was on our heart of what family we thought would be a good fit for this house or that would be blessed by this house. Um, there's a conversation I was actually having with my dad not but last week about how things in America when it comes to pricing are based on what the market can bear but not on what is a fair price and those are two very distinctly different ways of doing business you know are we gonna work to try to get as much money out of people as we possibly can or are we gonna offer a fair price based on the time effort and material costs and the amount of profit that is appropriate for that um, and going back to when we lived in Japan you know we went to a baseball game several times and the cost of food and drinks and beer at the baseball game was the exact same cost as if you had picked it up at a convenience store you know bear, a beer was 250 uh, you go to a baseball game here in the States and it's eight and I've even I think seen up to $13 for a beer and it's just price gouging and it's not a fair price it's based on what they think that consumers will pay because they're at a baseball game you know when we bought food it was the same price as if we had bought it at the Japanese 7-eleven uh, whether it was yakisoba or uh, yakitori you know yakitori sticks at 7-eleven can be a dollar to two dollars depending on the meat and I think we paid a dollar for each yakitori stick that we got at the baseball game and so yeah we could have there were people that were willing to offer an additional amount of money above the highest asking price on our house but you know at the end of the day do I want to try to get as much money out of a person as I possibly can or do I want to offer my house at a fair price and give it to somebody that I think is going to be blessed by this house and the gardens that are here and and the backyard for their children to play in so it was just something that you know talking about praying about and my wife and I were going through and and uh, something that wasn't asked for but we're also gonna pay for is a home warranty you know I, I know that when it comes to homes things break and when you've put all that money up front on a down payment and closing costs and things that it's nice to have that little safety net of, well, I've got a home warranty in case anything happens. And so uh, we're gonna be going ahead and paying for a home warranty for the new homeowners uh, so that we have the peace of mind that yes, we've, we've kept our house in good condition and everything works well, but if it does break sometime over the next uh, one to three years, that they've got that to fall back on and we want to bless them with that so it's just when it comes to that you know the whole idea of Emmy Farms I want to start a market garden called Emmy Farms that that garden and that farm are going to be a beautiful blessing to the community that we're a part of and that's what Emmy is in Japanese the kanji that is used to write the word Emmy the name Emmy is beautiful blessing and wherever it is that me and my family go and whatever it is that we do, what business ventures we have or uh, things we sell, 
we want it to be a beautiful blessing to that community and the community that we serve. So we're excited for this new chapter. I hope that if you guys want to come along on this adventure with us, that you'll hit that subscribe button. Um, like I said, I don't know how often I'll be posting right now. Things are just kind of slow, boring. The house, like I said, doesn't close until the middle of uh, November. And so we're gonna be waiting for that before we do anything. Um, but after that, we'll be trying to find a piece of land and preparing for the arrival of our new baby. Uh, so it's just cool. I'm excited, excited uh, for what God's doing in our life and excited for this new adventure. So hope you guys will come along with us. Take care.